My uh, <coughs> grandfather, my father's father, was uh, George W. William Hunter um, Jr. And he started in the uh, chemistry lab. And he was here through 1909, I think was the date. Uh, he had three boys. Uh, two, I know, were scientists. The oldest was George W. Hunter III. And I think he was here for various events. I don't know that he taught or uh, was a um, student or had a lab here. Uh, the second in command of that family was a Cartwright Hunter, and he was a banker, so I don't think he had anything to do with MBO. And then the third was Francis Robert Hunter, who was my father, who was here as a student. And I think it was um, 1935, 33, okay. And he met my mother here, Margaret Kershaw. She came over to take a, a course on algae, and that's where they met. And as a kid growing up, I think when we left Oklahoma after the war in 50, my father started coming here as an investigator. And so I grew up here as a kid um, from 50 to 54. And then in 64, I took a course um, in embryology, I mean, not embryology, excuse me, in uh, invertebrates, and then was asked to teach in it for the next two years, 65 and 66. And 66, I invited. Uh, the young lady who had sat behind me in the seventh grade and I'd known for many years to come down and join us and she had a job um, as the secretary to the course uh, leaders whoever they were so she was here for the summer and we got engaged that summer and got married the next year in 64 I ran into a fella from Harvard and became good friends and his name was Bob Bob came out for our wedding in December of 66 and met a friend of mine who was in the wedding also. And the friend invited Bob to join him for a trip up into Washington for a camping trip. And my mother and my sister were going to go along on that. And Bob Bollinger was his name, decided to bring his roommate, David Van Essen. And uh, David had just taken a course here in uh, embryology in I think the late 60s. In any event, um, David and my sister got to know each other and the next thing we knew, they were married. So. <laughs>
period, somewhere in there. And then he went to Princeton and worked for, uh, worked under a, a fellow who was working on cell physiology, Parpart was his name. And he was well known in the, the world of uh, cell physiology. And uh, my father was working with, I don't know whether he was working with Limulus or whatever the species was that he found here. And he came summer after summer here. And so we would come out as kids, as a family. And uh, we, I can remember coming in as a very young kid. Unfortunately, uh, my father left the family in 1954 and I really lost track with him until 60, and by then he was no longer at MBL, so. Uh, George Wald's son, Maddie and I, uh, decided that Tata fishing, fishing off the side of the uh, area we were, we were in the Zen's house, that was the other fellow, Don Zen, we lived in his house and there was a place to go fishing and swimming right across the street. And we weren't doing very well at the fishing, so I decided that we should go over to the aquarium and try fishing there. And we'd gotten into the back uh, behind the, the tanks and dropped our lines in the Tautauk tank, but that wasn't very well received, so we gave that up. Oh yeah, I have a lot of good memories. It was a really good class. I got to know a lot of people. Uh, I learned a lot about invertebrates. Uh, I learned a, a wide circle of friends that I would see year after year. People who had taught in the course and people outside the course who I got to know very well and still keep in touch with some of them. Unfortunately, many of them have passed on. And I had a, a baseball team called the Charlie Brown All-Stars, which uh, had all kinds of people in it that was kind of fun. Uh, we just had a lot of fun, as well as did some good science. Things were very relaxing lab. A lot of people were working into the evening after a day of uh, being out in the field and so forth. So that was how I spent a lot of my time. Is well, it's a unique place. It has great facilities. It has a great set of minds which are very important for people to share ideas. And it's a pretty nice place to spend a summer.